The Art of Fatherhood How to see beneath the masks of virtue Bad decisions lead to difficult decisions and difficult discussions. Problems are everywhere and are far more prevalent when we stray from what is morally right. There is no security in the nature of life. Everything is transitory and comes to pass. The quest for happiness remains as much an insecurity as a simple search for the inevitable. As then we make unnecessary mistakes, we invite criticism. The very nature of our moral ability must be called into question by our bad choices. We always become a result of our inactions as much as our actions. Love is a shit show in the firestorm of life. All that drama and theatre, all of the noise and distraction, all of that setting up of scenery and the placement of props, the lead up and the lead in, the positioning and the preparation, the delivery and the performance, the fanfare of titles and announcements, the curtains drawn in and drawn out, the trickery of the lights and the madness of selling out, the fireworks exploding just to fade away, all the adulation and so little contemplation, then the wild silence and the separation. Unconscious choices are the primary drivers of failure in all relationships. We claim and then we blame. We frame and then we name. After which nothing can be the same. There are no locks for ghosts that can walk through walls and drift down the halls of time. We push instead of pull. The mind is a minefield of thoughts and oughts. The mind is in itself a kind of prophetic paranoia, constantly attempting to avoid all reflections. Eyes wide shut, we never really know what it is that we can't see. Bound to hope the blind walk into problems. If repeated, then this leads to the belief that everybody wears a mask. Then all are snakes in the grass. Finally and inevitably, there is venomous dysfunction. Our children tend to act out our unspoken desires. It's the same decision that places ambition before investment. Men get to propose while women get to dispose. A juxtaposition appears unlikely. The great power play of history this is. If most men are good, then a bad choice in men only leads to inevitably questioning a person's ability to judge. A woman who may never be judged hides from more than she realizes. 
Reality is only understood through the challenges. Humanity is the great farce where everybody is a slave to everybody else. In this tragedy, victimhood is a powerful way to attract support. The lie is that it is okay to be you when you need to change. The world sells solutions. Unavailable emotions are in every shop on every corner. People who drive away good people have failed in the very purpose of life. That is to understand love is a gift, not some kind of statutory function or birthright. It's not something you can pick up and drop off. It's deeper and it's wider than that. Still, it seems that somebody forgot to tell everybody. Read the papers. Read the signs. Read between the lines. Bullet points. See the devastation of the war in peacetime. Broken hearts are as prevalent as battlefield bodies. Have you not seen the man with the thousand yard stare, entrenched in life, knowing that if you go up over the top, you will be slaughtered or cut to pieces by machine guns from all sides? And nobody wins the war. Coercion replaces freedom with false premises. We romanticize revolutions and the quest for personal liberty when a lack of unity lies at the core of society. This is just another part of the real tragedy. Women raise boys with the same issues that men raise girls. An incomplete understanding. Bad versus good is the lie. It's boy versus man. Boys are half the father and all the man. When you separate a boy from his father, then you disconnect the child from the world. Security comes from being treasured and close. Parenting is supposed to be at times difficult, tiring, stressful, problematic, and worrying. You will feel edgy and overwhelmed. In the end, we have to do what we have to do, but not for us for them, which means letting go of our own desires. Did you know that two-thirds of all divorces are initiated by women? The most common reason is dissatisfaction, also known as unhappiness. The question is, Will women ever be satisfied with their own choices? Never seek to appease those you displease. In the event that we don't realize where we fit in, it is worth remembering that the exception proves the rule by being the exception. The forced separation of the family is the return to a belief that higher powers will absolve you of any responsibility or wrongdoing. But Superman is not coming. The inevitable reduction of resources leads to a reduction of time and a reduction of income in general. Just another cost 
of the great loss. Failure leads to questions. Failure leads to doubts. Failure leads to blame. The complexity of finger-pointing persecution leads to self-hate and the corruption of friendships into dependent relationships. People will lean on each other until everything collapses. Happiness, if it ever arrives, only comes through security. A lack of virtues leads to simply knowing that nothing is there to catch you when you fall. Idolatry is the greatest insecurity. Trying to get the east and the west winds to agree is just as useful as crashing two planes together. Only the intact saves us from the impact. As a result, who we seek counsel from matters, as who you defer to has some power over you. Misplaced trust replaces magical towers with high walls of dust. Responsibility, which is your ability to accurately respond, is a pressure. Liabilities naturally get in the way of happiness. In many modern societies, kids have become resources rather than expenditures. Benefit claims by single parents in the United States can reach up to $65,000 in one year. And who is going to want to work when the state is providing endless resources, in return, of course, for your compliance? Those seeking rewards and awards find only fleeting satisfactions. The state of the state always reflects the state of the desperate individual. It matters when you can't put your finger on it. Clouds that look like arrows, even though they may appear nice and are something to talk about, are no reason to hide and ever less of a reason for separations and splits. Parenting mistakes cause the children to grow up faster, and faster crashes straight into disaster. Society rushes to protect itself from itself. We place borders and limits on everything. Low IQ turns everything into extremes and constantly plays with the nuclear option. But there is no reset button for life. The stars are always distant. Disney is a lie because magic and costumes are not the solution to your problems. Those elements are too far from home. Consistent hard work and intimate self-knowledge will get you closer to the truth than a million motivational books. Period. The greatest tragedy is to give up on the family. The Art of Fatherhood